Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the movie Cloud Atlas. This came out a couple weeks ago, but I finally got a chance to see it. Overall, I think Cloud Atlas is a pretty good movie. It's kind of hard to describe what Cloud Atlas is exactly about because it's several different storylines taking place in a lot of different time periods. The storylines are kind of connected and almost all of them include all of the same actors, including Holly Berry, Tom Hanks, Jim Sturges, a ton of other people. It's a really big, really fantastic cast and everyone does a really good job. Overall, I did really enjoy it. A lot of the storylines were really good. The only thing that I wasn't crazy about with the movie is that because there is a lot of different storylines going on, some of them are significantly more enjoyable than others. For example, with me, I really enjoyed the Neo Soul story and I really enjoyed the story about the composer, whereas I didn't so much enjoy the tribal story or the story about the older people in the end. And that's a kind of goes on to my next thing that I don't really like about the movie is that some parts of it are stupid. So dumb and like almost like mind-numbingly cheesy. The story with the old people at the end in particular I find really dumb and kind of childish. And also the story that takes place in the 70s. It's really good up until the end where it gets really cheesy and I don't really like the resolution of it because it seems kind of, for lack of a better word, just kind of dumb. I really didn't enjoy it. It was really cheesy. I almost don't even want to say cheesy. I just think it was a bad ending to it. It wasn't really that enjoyable, especially considering everything that was going up until that point. Other than that, some of the storylines were so good. As I mentioned before, the Neo Soul was probably my favorite storyline and I really enjoyed it so much. I thought it was so interesting. The ending is kind of typical for a story of that sort, but I still thought it was really interesting up until that point and I really liked the love story. And the same thing with the composer story. It was two gay lovers and it was really sweet and I loved the I loved the resolution to that story. It felt kind of complete to me, so I enjoyed that. Not all the storylines have resolutions that you're going to like and you kind of have to be prepared for that. Because this is such a long movie, it's almost about three hours long. You have to prepare yourself for that. You're not going to enjoy every single storyline and I think that could get a little grating for some people. Especially because you're sitting in one spot for such a long time and you want everything to go a certain way because you've been there so long. Like I can understand why people wouldn't like the movie. I think most of the stories have really really good endings and I think collectively as a story they work really well. The switching back and forth takes a little getting used to. I think the beginning of the movie was kind of confusing but you catch on relatively quickly. Sometimes they'll go into a story for like 20 minutes and then they'll just do a scene of dialogue from a different story and then go back to a different story. So it's it takes some getting used to but I really like this form of narrative and it's really nice. All the stories are really connected. It kind of brings the idea of fate into it and you meeting the same people over and over again, are them being connected in certain ways, which I really like. I honestly don't like the idea of fate, but I like the idea that you're meant to meet certain people at some point in your life, some way. Yeah, that's really all I had to say about Cloud Atlas. I would definitely recommend it if you can sit through a long movie. And not only is it a long movie, but for whatever reason, there's ton of previews. I literally forgot what movie I was going to see because there were so many previews at the beginning. Again, it's about 2 hours and 45 minutes. So be realistic about it. If you can't sit through a 3 hour movie, I would probably wait to a DVD. At least you can, you know, stop it, get up, do some stuff, come back. Movie theater, you can't really do that and you might miss something important. Okay, well, I will see you guys soon.